This is the last part of 4.1. We're at 4.1c and we're going to talk about transforming equations, division to multiplication. We can transform a division equation into a multiplication equation. We multiply the quotient by the divisor and set them equal to the dividend. And we change their order. 3 fourths divided by 1 half is equal to 3 halves. And 3 halves times 1 half is equal to 3 fourths. Division and multiplication are opposite or inverse operations. They undo each other just as addition and subtraction undo each other. A division equation can be written as a multiplication equation using the concept of fact families. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2, and 2 times 5 is equal to 10. We're using the fact family 2, 5, and 10. The commutative property of multiplication states that we can multiply in any order. Changing the order of the factors doesn't change the product. So 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. We can write it as a multiplication equation as 2 times 5 or 5 times 2. Their order doesn't matter for the factors. Same with 3 fourths divided by 1 half equals 3 halves. We can write 3 halves, then 1 half, or we can write 1 half and then 3 halves. So we can have 1 half as the multiplier, or we can write it up here as the multiplicand. It doesn't matter for the order of the factors. Here we have 5 sevenths as our dividend, we have 4 fifths as our divisor, and when we divide them, 5 sevenths divided by 4 fifths, we get 25 20 eighths as the quotient. We can write it as 25 20 eighths times the divisor, 4 fifths and that will be equal to the dividend 5 sevenths. And we can solve this to double check and make sure it's correct. We can cross cancel and multiply using GCF like we learned in video 4.1, which is linked in the description. So here we have a 25 and a 5, and they have a 5 in common. There's 5 fives in 25, there's 1 5 in 5. And for 4 and 28, we can use 4. There are seven fours in 28 and one four in four. Then we just multiply across. We get five sevenths, which is our dividend. For three fifths divided by three fourths, it's equal to four fifths. We can write it as four fifths times three fourths is equal to three fifths. We can use cross cancel to do this. Four and four have a four in common. So we have one four here and one four here. One times four and one times four. So we can cancel them out as ones. Then we just do one times three is three and five times one is five. We get three fifths, which is the dividend. It works with whole numbers as well as fractions. So if we had 56 divided by seven, it's gonna equal eight because eight times seven is 56. 56 divided by 7 is equal to 8, that's our quotient, and 8 times 7 is equal to 56. If we have 115 divided by 5, it's equal to 23, because 23 times 5 is equal to 115. Multiplication is the inverse operation of division, and division is the inverse operation of multiplication. They're opposites, they undo each other. Our next lesson is 4.2a. We're going to model fraction division, then we're going to talk about reciprocals and using reciprocals to divide fractions. So you can see 4.2 is split into four parts, a, b, c, d. Now, we did touch on fraction division in fifth grade chapter 8, and I'll have a link to a couple of those videos in this description. So you should be a little familiar with fraction division. I'm really proud of you for watching math videos. And I hope you have a great day, and I hope you hit that like button because that means you understood. I'll see you next time. Bye.